We do begin this half hour with nearly three quarters of all states that have now identified at least one case of the Omicron variant, including Utah. We expect to see the proportion of Omicron cases here in the United States continue to grow in the coming weeks. Health officials with the CDC and White House now saying the Omicron variant may become the dominant variant in the U.S. by mid-January. Officials say most of the Omicron cases detected in the U.S. have had mild symptoms. Dr. Anthony Fauci says while that is true, this variant spreads easier and quicker than the current Delta variant that is responsible for most cases in the U.S. With this new warning, Utah officials are preparing for the possible wave of Omicron cases. There's still so much we don't know about, about Omicron. What we do know is that it spreads very quickly. We're, we're seeing that, of course, in, in South Africa. Um, we're seeing it now in Great Britain. Utah health officials are preparing for the possibility of a surge in cases with Christmas now just nine days away and as the Omicron variant spreads. And while they're concerned, there is some good news, they tell us. ABC4's Northern Utah correspondent Cade Garner has more. We're not in the clear. Epidemiology nurse Amy Carter warns as COVID-19 cases remain high and the holidays are in full swing. And then we anticipated, are we going to have a surge on top of a surge? Along with that, Health officials are preparing for the Omicron variant to add to the already high caseload. It will soon become dominant here. So that's one thing we know. Dr. Anthony Fauci says data now shows that the new variant spreads quicker and is more likely to infect someone who is fully vaccinated. But he says there's good news. The boost will protect against the Omicron variant. He says the boost reduces the likelihood that someone who contracts the variant will end up in the hospital. Our hospitals are still at way higher surge and capacity um, than they can handle, and that's really where we should be focusing a lot of our efforts now. Officials urge Utahns to get tested before holiday gatherings. We are processing about 10% of our cases every year. We're sequencing them uh, to, to figure out which variants are here. The majority of cases in Utah are still the Delta variant. But with Omicron already in the state, Governor Cox says everyone can do their part. Boosters perform much better against that variant, and, uh, and so we are encouraging people to, uh, to get their boosters. In Ogden, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.